Welcome into the Rowdy Studio. I'm Buzz Cutler sitting alongside Bass Masters, wrapping up everything from the Charlotte Motor Speedway Bank of America 500 race weekend. We got to talk about Jimmy Johnson, a hard, yep. hard hit he took in that race and a hard, hard hit he took in the points. He's now 35 points behind leader Carl Edwards. Well, it couldn't have worked out better for the guys trying to beat Jimmy for a change and win this title because Jimmy Johnson had a fast race car. I was looking at the lap times. He started ninth, worked his way towards the front, was one of the fastest cars on the track along with Greg Biffle. But that mistake in the middle of the race, the four-tire call in the middle of the race, really sort of set things in motion for Johnson, got him back in traffic. He kept getting caught by the caution. In fairness, Matt Kenseth made that same mistake and ended up winning the race. Right. Can you, can you really call, call it a mistake, a four-tire call at Charlotte with, I mean, I, I think that you many have laps to, left? You have to, as hard as it was to pass out there, and as few laps as they had for that particular stop on the left sides, I think you had to anticipate a bunch of guys taking two. So, yeah, it's not a, an egregious mistake, but I think it was a bit of an error. But I, I think you really have to ask the question, if you look at the last run and you look at the move that Johnson made, he, he talks about how he tried to get by Ryan Newman and he didn't get a lot of room. Uh, the 39 was just real tight on my right recorder getting into uh, turn one and uh, just took the air off the side of my car and around I went. Well, you know Ryan Newman's not going to give you a lot That's of room. That's not who Ryan Newman is. Jimmy Johnson at that point had essentially run the last run of the race. He had about two points he could pick up on the racetrack. Ryan he had Newman. a shot at Ryan, and he had a shot if he could get past right. Ryan at Kevin Harvick. Now, Kevin Harvick ended up finishing sixth after the following restart. So you have to question, I think, a little bit the risk-reward calculation that he makes in that situation. He's a race car driver. He's trying to pass cars. I get all that. But he finished 34th, okay? So that move, trying to get one, possibly two points, you lose 30, 25, 30 points, that's the kind of thing that loses you a championship. What's interesting about that is... I wish it weren't that way, but it is. What's interesting about that is Jimmy Johnson, Chad Knauss, the 48 team, they're one of the few teams, I would say, in the garage that seems to have that kind of perspective and know when to points race figure and out when to go for it. They, right. they know what the risk-reward sort of is. They, perhaps better than anybody else, yet in this case... They didn't. Uh, they, they didn't take the conservative route, which probably they should have. Now Jimmy Johnson's well, 35 points out, five races to go. Look, I'm never going to be the guy who counts Jimmy Johnson out too soon. It's a long shot, but it does seem like it's not going to happen for Jimmy Johnson for the sixth year in a row. Well, let's break down his chance. First of all, let me say this: I was scanning Jimmy and Chad uh, quite a bit during was, that now, race. Was Chad cheerleading? Chad. I don't think it was cheerleading. He was being positive. Chad, he can't, was being you positive. quit the cheerleading. One thing Chad did, though, he reminded Jimmy towards the end of the race, dude, we just have to finish. Because he knows with a fast car, you get stuck back in traffic, you get frustrated, you can make that kind of move. Okay? And I'm not going to blame Jimmy because, you know, I'm not a race car driver. I don't know what was going on exactly. But, you know, we saw the result. Now, if you look at the points, and we've got them right here. If you look at the points, Jimmy Johnson is now 35 points behind Carl Edwards in first. He's a significant distance behind Carl, Kevin, his teammate Matt Kenseth. Right. Okay? Right. Less significant behind these other guys he's got to pass. Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Tony Stewart, uh, Kurt Busch. Those guys he can outrace and get past them, especially when you take into account the Martinsville factor here. We do have Talladega coming up. I think to catch those other guys, he's going to need a poor finish from each of them at Talladega, at Martinsville, at Phoenix probably, or just bad luck at, at one of these down. Well, and you can crafts. certainly see that happen with, with Talladega and Martinsville coming up. Certainly Matt Kenseth isn't going to do anything at Martinsville. Talladega, anything can happen to anybody. Right. Phoenix, let's put that aside because, you know, it's been reconfigured. We don't know what's going to happen. So it's really easy to see yeah. Carl, Matt, Kyle, Kevin – have the same kind of luck at Talladega or Martinsville that Jimmy had at Charlotte. Now, Martinsville, I think it's less likely that they're going to have some sort of race-ending problem. But Talladega, come on. So I'm not – I think Jimmy's got an uphill battle, but let's see what happens at Talladega before we pronounce him dead. I, I agree. I think you got to look at Talladega and Martinsville both because Jimmy can make up 10 to 12 to 15 to 20 points on guys at Martinsville, on, on probably one or two of those guys at Martinsville, depending on how things play out. I mean, they could have – just a poor race at Martinsville, and Jimmy could easily win that thing. So I think you have to wait for these two races. 
On the other hand, his margin for error now is completely gone. Oh. If he has any other major problem, he will be out of it. Yeah. He'll be done. He's got to get he's got to get top tens, maybe even top fives for the rest of the run. I think so too. And hope that these other guys have some sort of poo paw along the way. And one last thing about Jimmy, the margin he faces now, at least in terms of points, is probably still smaller than the one he overcame in 2006. With how many races left in 2006? With five races to go. It's probably still smaller. Just saying, Just saying is all. We're not counting you out, Jimmy, but we do think you've got pretty tough duty ahead of you. But call us. We'll talk you up. We'll, we can talk you up. We'll no <laughs> cheerleading, though. No. No, no cheerleading. No. We no. don't do that kind of thing. We leave here. that to Chad. We're realists, Chad. Realists. Chad's better with the pom poms. Yeah, I think so. He's good. good All right. That. Thanks for watching. I'm Buzz Cutler. That's Bass Masters. Lots more rowdy video coming your way. Still talking Charlotte Motor Speedway. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.